Now, LaMonica, I understand people had to jump off their balconies to flee the flames. Yeah, Nadia, I talked with one of the people who lived here and he told me that he lost everything. This is the apartment where they lived and he described for me how they narrowly escaped before the building went completely up in flames. Like everybody was just panicked me. Total chaos is how Leonardo Hernandez describes the fire this morning that left his family and his neighbors out in the cold. And so we lived right here. This is my room. And that's my parents' room right there. Hernandez says he woke up about 4 a.m. and smelled smoke. He jumped up to get his parents, grabbed his two dogs, and headed for the front door. But there was a wall of fire standing in their way. So we were all in the, like, the balcony. My mom was like screaming out for help, waking up our neighbors. And so like all of our neighbor was in the back ready. And like we had to jump off because there's like a little kind of like a little pathway on the back, so we had to jump onto that. Hernandez says they escaped with the clothes on their backs and they didn't have on any shoes. Nearly two dozen people were also in the building, but with little time to spare, someone's precious pets were left behind. Two dogs of my neighbors on the bottom floor, they didn't make it out. They passed away, and so it was, it was pretty sad to see that. And so, you know, everybody was just crying. Sumner police say the Red Cross has stepped in to help the families find temporary shelter and food. While the cause of the fire is still under investigation, Hernandez says he's just glad he made it out alive. Right now, I just thank God that I'm still here standing, you know. It wasn't my time yet, you know. He probably woke me up. He was the one that probably woke me up on time. And, you know, I just thank God for that. Hernandez told us that he and some of the other families are staying at the Sumner Mortar Motel right now. They'll be there for the next few days, and if people want to make donations of clothes and food, they can make arrangements to drop some of the items off at the motel. In Sumner, LaMonica Peters, Q13 News. Well, LaMonica, luckily, Leonardo and his family was able to escape. Thank you.